Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here talking about SmartThings network extension and strategy with you. My name is Charles Kim, a software architect and one of the leaders for Matter at Samsung SmartThings. In the next 20 minutes, I will share our vision and strategy, give a brief introduction to Matter, share about how we are supporting Matter, discuss new easy ways to integrate your Matter devices and apps in our platform. And lastly, how you can get started with all of this. I will save time at the end for questions. Vision and strategy. One year after launch, Matter is getting very popular in smartphones. Over 300 companies from all over the world are working together on it. SmartThings is one of the companies proactively integrating Matter into their own platform. Matter commissioner and controller functionality in many of the devices. At SEC, we are announcing new tools to make it easy to create smart home devices and apps and connect them with smart things. Okay, let's get started. Matter introduction. Matter is an IP-based protocol that helps smart home devices talk together easily. You can buy and set them up simply. They work well together, are dependable, and secure. If you are here, you know about Matter from when it started in 2019. It was first core project chip. We have worked hard on it for three years and launched it worldwide last year. In 2022, SmartThings Matter certified many parts of the SmartThings infrastructure as well as SmartThings station. We continue to keep up with new Matter releases, including 1.1 and soon 1.2. Matter's architecture defines a number of key roles, including com commissioner, controllers, and devices. Matter is based on clusters which specify various types of application and utility clusters. It is also familiar to SmartThings developers. These clusters map to our capabilities model. The most popular device types are already supported by Matter. Matter 1.2 is coming soon with support for more, like home appliance devices, robot vacuum cleaner, air quality control, and smoke and CO alarm. Matter is a local technology which helps make it reliable, responsive, and secure. Matter device connects within the home direct, directly to device that Matter defines as a Matter controller. A Matter controller is not a physical, standalone physical device but simply a function that can be built into many kinds of devices, like speakers and TVs and even apps. Many of these products already got this functionality when Matter launched. This very quickly created a very large new market for Matter devices. Almost every smart home now supports Matter. Our hub everywhere strategy helps make sure that there is matter controller in even more homes. Samsung has the largest number of devices that can act as matter control. Our TVs, family of refrigerators, smart monitors, smart station, our new sound bar, of course, our original hubs all act as matter control. Now, I would like to hand it over to Jack Michel, who leads our Matter Hub. Please give him a big hand. Thank you, Charles, and thank you all for being here. Let's take a look at the main components of the SmartThings platform 
and how each have changed and evolved to support Matter. First, the SmartThings app, which is available for both Android and iOS and serves as the Matter Commissioner, supporting numerous ways for users to commission your devices, and it also facilitates the multi-admin feature to allow users to effortlessly share your Matter devices from SmartThings to other ecosystems and vice versa. Next, the SmartThings Cloud has expanded to support Matter, primarily through two cloud services. The first is our Matter Public Key Infrastructure Service, which provides the fabric credentials and certificates. And the second is a service that acts as a proxy to the Matter Distributed Compliance Ledger, which is used at various times throughout the device lifecycle, such as during device attestation and checking for new software updates. Finally, let's look at the hub which of course takes on many form factors, such as the SmartThings station, Samsung TVs, smart monitors, and fridges, as well as other Matter-enabled SmartThings hubs. The hubs all run on what we call HubCore, and the hub serves as the Matter controller, as well as the OTA provider. The hub is also home to the Edge drivers, which help control your Matter devices. Additionally, we have our Works with SmartThings program for Matter and non-Matter devices alike, which provides custom functionality to enhance your users' experience and help your products differentiate and stand out from the competition. So now that we have a high-level overview of how Matter works on SmartThings, let's get into some highlights. First, we are happy to announce that all of the Matter-enabled SmartThings offerings from the Android and iOS apps to our hub platforms have been fully certified for Matter 1.1. We're also looking forward to the Matter 1.2 and beyond as part of our commitment to stay up to date with the ever-evolving Matter specification. We're also committed to providing our users with convenient options for onboarding their Matter devices. With native Galaxy support for Matter device setup and multi-admin, we make connecting to devices to the user's network to SmartThings, and to your apps incredibly easy. This flow feels as effortless and familiar as connecting a new pair of Galaxy Buds. So when a user plugs in or turns on their new Matter device, their Galaxy phone or tablet will notify the user that their Matter device is ready to be onboarded, even when the SmartThings app is not running. Not only will this quick pair menu allow users to easily connect to their devices with just a few taps, we're also empowering users by giving them the freedom to choose which Matter-compatible app to add your devices to. And users of the iOS SmartThings app can also get SmartThings app prompts when their nearby commissionable devices are discovered. The SmartThings app makes it easy for users to connect their devices no matter what platform they're on. Let's talk about some ways that the SmartThings app can also enable users to share their devices easily. First, we have the Matters multi-admin feature that is used to share devices between ecosystems. This functionality is accessible through the device card's share with other services option, which provides both a scannable QR code and a copyable manual pairing code to give the user multiple options and flexibility when adding to another ecosystem. We also have the tip cards feature for device makers that are part of our Works with SmartThings program. With tip cards, you'll be able to provide brand and product images, descriptions, and other information that will improve the quality of the setup experience by helping users recognize your device, teaching users more about your app experience, and even sharing devices directly to your app. And once devices are connected to SmartThings, we're also making it easy for users to get the latest software updates with Matter over-the-air update support on SmartThings hubs. So whether your device has an exciting new feature to be enabled or critical fixes that need to get your, to your users fast, SmartThings will help provide your devices with the latest certified software updates as soon as they're available on the distributed compliance ledger. Updates are downloaded directly from your servers to the hub and then transferred to your devices via the bulk data exchange protocol. Smart SmartThings also provides users the flexibility to apply these updates automatically 
whenever these updates are available, or let them manually choose to apply updates on a per-device basis. Additionally, as a benefit to our Matter Early Access program for partners, we can optionally configure your SmartThings hubs to use TestNet to give you the ability to do full OTA testing with an established OTA provider during your OTA requester development before you're ready to publish images to mainnet. If this sounds interesting to you, look for more information from Charles on this, in this presentation later about how to enroll with the Early Access Program. Another exciting feature that we are proud to discuss here today is SmartThings support for third-party Matter Bridges. Matter Bridges allow device makers with non-Matter devices, such as ZigBee or Z-Wave, to integrate seamlessly with Matter ecosystems by representing those devices on the Matter fabric and translating the communication to and from Matter controllers. Many popular brands, such as the ones shown here, have announced that their hubs will, or already do, act as Matter Bridges, which allows SmartThings users access to hundreds of new devices. And when users commission your bridges to the SmartThings, we'll make it easy for them by automatically onboarding all bridge-connected devices at that time. And we'll also monitor your bridge, such that if a device adds or deletes bridge-connected devices in your app, SmartThings will automatically and immediately update to reflect those changes. And with support for bridges coming to the Works with SmartThings program, you'll be able to further promote your bridges and bridge-connected devices to millions of Samsung and SmartThings users. Now, I want to shift gears a little bit and highlight some major new features that improve the experience for Matter devices, but also much, much more. Charles talked earlier about the Hub Everywhere strategy and how users may end up with multiple hubs in their home. And we want to be able to leverage those hubs to make the smart home experience better and more reliable. So starting with the SmartThings station, users can now create a multi-hub network in their homes, extending the range and reliability of their network. The additional hubs will become part of the existing Thread and Zigbee networks, enabling devices to connect to the closest or most optimal hub. This will allow users to put more of your devices in more places around their homes while still experiencing the reliability and responsiveness of local connectivity. And last, but certainly not least, I am thrilled to announce one of our most requested and highly anticipated features, Hub Replace. With SmartThings Hub functionality being built into more and more devices, users may want to upgrade their SmartThings Hub. And today, we've announced the Hub Replace feature which allows users to easily transfer everything from their current hub to a new one while keeping their existing setup intact. This means that all devices, the Matter Fabric, the Thread, Zigbee, Z-Wave networks, the Edge drivers data, routines, and other hub settings will all seamlessly be transferred and applied to the new hub with just a few quick taps as shown in this flow. Our team has worked very hard on this feature and we are beyond excited to be rolling this out to users in the coming weeks. And with that, I'm going to pass it back over to Charles to discuss platform ecosystem expansion. Thank you, Jeff. Next is, next is platform ecosystem expansion. Our new SmartThings Home API lets device and app makers use SmartThings infrastructure. The Home API lets you create apps that can control devices locally and remotely without needing to build your own cloud or matter control. You will be able to control devices connected to SmartThings Hub directly from your app. We want to support your own innovations too. The SmartThings Home API will allow custom features in matter they are called Manufacturer Specific Clusters. The Home API will allow you to pass these features through to your app. 
You can also enable them to show up in the SmartThings app if those features led to a SmartThings supported capability. We know you are excited to get your new device to market. We have a new way to make it easy to integrate with the SmartThings. Our configuration tool ensures that users are seeing your branding and descriptions to help with the setup. Our deduplication tool ensures your users only see your cloud and local device once. Our automated testing and certification console make it easy to certify devices against the SmartThings requirements, such as custom capability, marriage driver, device profile, and UI presentation. If you missed Aaron Swift's SDG session on our new developer center, we will post it online for you to watch. We have created an early access program. By joining, you will be able to preview and test the future versions and update it to the SmartThings app and hub format. If you are interested in joining the program, please reach out to the SmartThings business development team, including Osama and Valerie here at SDC. Thank you for joining me here today. We are supporting and broadening meta functionality continuously. Learn more at developer.smartthings.com or you can use these QR codes. We are continuing to support the evolving meta spec and SDK, as well as leading and collaborating to drive the development of meta. Before I take your questions, I want to mention that outside, you will find our code lab area where you can start working with the SmartThings Home API, virtual device app, and multi-admin experience. We are also doing a giveaway for those who try out all of those experiences. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please visit our Vera Hub booth. Uh, we can talk about our, your questions. And I will end things here. Enjoy SDC 23. Thank you.